What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. Good morning to some out there. It's the Earthmaster here on this beautiful Friday, September 23rd, 2022 date. It is finally Friday, the weekend in force here. About 11.42 a.m. California time here. Latest quake shows a four point, uh, looks like a 4.0 earthquake coming into the area of Japan. About 10 kilometers deep, but some newer activity here. Notice the uh, older rings here in the red color indicating some movement there from yesterday. So starting to get a little bit of uptick up here around the uh, northern end of the Philippine plate there. Also some activity kicking up once again around the Mexico area where we've seen that uh, large earthquake activity uh, a couple days ago now. Seen a 5.2 and a uh, four pointer up there as well. All right, let's go ahead and check out the latest activity. Uh, happening on the sun first had a beautiful awesome uh, explosion here from a sunspot it's going to be one of these uh let's see which number that is 3102 is the uh, sunspot where a filament erupted just a little bit ago earlier this morning time frame shot off a whole bunch of plasma uh, from the sun not earth directed so that will not hit us uh, but it did produce a pretty significant CME, uh, again, directed away from Earth. Uh, there's a couple different sunspots that we are watching. Uh, in fact, one of them just had an M flare, an M1.7 coming in. Still kind of seeing the radio blackouts here centered uh, right over North and South America and the Pacific Ocean here, the Eastern Pacific. Um, that's the uh, uh, radio blackout level for the uh, high frequency and low frequency range navigation systems out there. Not a strong M flare, but looking at the X-ray chart here, looks like it got into the M1 category. It's gonna be this one right here. Um, over the past three days, we've seen, I think, another small M1 uh, from a uh, different sunspot. This, this one here, though, is kind of a, a newer one. Kicking up on the uh, way far side northeastern limb you can kind of see it right here just a little glancing view notice how bright this thing is uh, that is the uh, remnants of the flare the m1 flare that we just seen and uh, that's what we look for as far as determining where this uh, sunspot uh, came from it's a pretty nice little feature there so we'll watch that sunspot in the days ahead um, i don't believe Let's see, it looks like they have named that one. Um, newly assigned AR-3110. Just turned into view and looks to be the source of a moderate M flare currently in progress at this time of update, which was just put out a little bit ago. There's a little bit better look at uh, 3110. Again, that's going to be up here on this map. Check out the magnetic... Uh, well, maybe, might be able to see it. A little bit of it. We'll have to watch this in the coming days, see how it um, develops. Either way, it's producing an M flare, so that's pretty cool. Uh, these other sunspots here, as large as they are, man, they're just not producing anything significant. Uh, not a whole lot of complex fields there, or magnetic fields uh, amongst those sunspots. But we'll continue to watch it and monitor. There is, uh, of course, coronal hole activity. Uh, further east, or uh, excuse me, further west here on this view, of the sun here's the latest imagery of that coronal hole activity and these uh the large massive sunspots that are not really doing anything there is 3110 up here again looking pretty awesome on the uh on that image that might be the uh culprit of some or might be a possibility of some uh, stronger flaring here over the weekend and into next week we will watch that pretty closely these guys still remain uh at 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 30% chance, X flare around 5. Looking at the uh, dynamics here of the uh, 3110, the one that just produced an M flare. Uh, these are the uh, flare threats. So it's already above that. Uh, let's see here. We did get a little bit of amplification there from the from the. Um, that CME that had been facing us a couple days past. That's gonna be the center disc one in the sun. I think it gave us just barely a glancing blow here. I don't think we've seen anything significant popping up there uh, far as the auroras go. Looking at the KP index here, we're just roughly around the three time frame. 
And um, the detailed forecast uh, looks like that was UTC time on the 23rd, 0600, and we were way past that. So that was last night. Didn't really give us what we were expecting. Uh, and it doesn't look like there's anything coming up um, here in the next couple nights far as solar weather goes, far as the uh, Aurora Borealis goes. Uh, let's see what else. All right, let's go to earthquake activity. Going to check this here real quick first. Uh, there's a 5.2 coming in. We've seen that on the Earthquake 3D Globe uh, in the area of Mexico, 49 kilometers there into this region. And, of course, this area did see quite a bit of earthquake activity. There's much more than the eight earthquakes shown here on the map. The largest, though, uh, 7.6, tied the record for the uh, strongest of the year so far. And uh, the 6.8 is the largest aftershock, uh, which occurred there um, way yesterday, early morning time frame. All right, let's look here, go up to the uh, coast here and see what we got going on in California. Eh, nothing showing up here in the last hour. Most of the activity confined here to the uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone, it looks like. Nothing going on around the San Andreas Fault for now. No major swarms. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of activity on the North American side of that plate boundary like we were seeing earlier this week. Uh, that could be a good sign for the folks in Southern Cal. A um, little bit of movement along the creeping section, it looks like today. But overall, general seismic activity seems to have died off a lot along the west coast uh, including areas inland uh, let's go ahead and check out yellowstone here real quick i'd like to monitor the swarming activity or lack of swarming activity to get a, uh, a general indication of uh, interior pressure in the north american plate up against the crate north american craton but uh let's see yeah actually we're kind of dropping off nicely here with the swarming uh, that's been kind of consistent over the last couple weeks. Notice the past few hours, only a, a very small handful of earthquakes there at Yellowstone. And that looks like the uh, the trend throughout the rest of the seismographs. Things kind of calming down there in the area of uh, Wyoming. Not a whole lot listed on the map either. Uh, and same for out in Texas and Oklahoma, the rest of the country. Things not really uh, uh, active today, so to speak. Puerto Rico area. Got a couple small quakes here around the southwestern edge there, but uh, that's very typical, very normal for activity. South America uh, region there, it's just, uh, I think this is from, yeah, most of these are from yesterday afternoon time frame, late afternoon time frame, so no further new movement noted on the South America map. The big island, see what we got here, lighten up a little bit looks like around Mauna Loa. Uh, especially within the last uh, hour or so. Looks like we're starting to get a little swarming kicking up here. On the top of the volcano, very shallow earthquakes. Getting a couple deep ones in there, but uh, most of the activity very shallow. We'll check out the... Um, see if there's been an update on that real quick here. Let me go over here to the uh, volcano hazards map and see if there's any update on the Mauna Loa area which is currently, uh, let's get in a little bit more here. I don't believe there's been any type of uh, new update put out. Looks like, uh, let's see, this was their weekly update. They were talking about uh, some seismicity remaining above long-term background levels. Looks like uh, GPS showing slow rates of uh, deformation in the Volcano Summit region continuing through the past week. Um, yeah, so just kind of watching that, you know. You've got to watch these swarms pretty closely. But it's not uncommon for this area to see uh, uh, some swarming up there. We've seen it in the months past. But uh, you've got to watch it, though, because that could uh, turn into something. The uh, southeastern edge of... The big island around Pahala looks a little spotty today as far as the activity goes there in the earthquake department. Uh, I think most of our most of our movement uh, overnight and this morning time frame 
has been centered around the Vanuatu area and the Papua New Guinea area looking at these timestamps. We go from newest up top to the oldest down at the bottom. Uh, just a lot of activity ramping up. Uh, here within this region again mostly fours and uh, we did see a 5.4 in that mix as well. Just a little bit of clustering quakes within this area of the Coral Sea, Coral sea and the uh, Solomon Islands area. Remember the Solomon Islands zone is in a little seismic gap area where we're um, not we haven't really seen a whole lot of earthquake activity let me bring up the uh, the 30 days 4.5 and above of course we've had a lot right quite a bit but Solomon Islands here right around here uh, it sits in a seismic gap zone absence of uh, any earthquake activity and that kind of goes for larger movement as well uh, and historical data does show quite a bit of movement here in uh, in any given time including large earthquakes but we haven't seen anything here uh, so that could be a spot to watch considering all the movement that's been taking a place taking place around it recently uh, with a lot of adjustment here uh, around the Vanuatu area but just nothing very minimal amount of activity in that seismic gap zone uh, so we'll watch the Solomon Islands area pretty closely uh, considering uh, we're starting to still starting to see a little bit of swarming here take place X marks the spot possibility we'll see how that goes right uh, let's see what else we got Alaska beautiful state of Alaska up here not a whole lot going on this is very typical of Alaska don't see any major swarms in fact that trident volcano area kind of dying off last night we've seen a little swarm of activity picking up there again around the trident volcano but uh, looks like only uh, well those kind of came to a stop looks like a late afternoon time frame Nothing overnight or this morning so far. All right, let's check out uh, Earthquakes Canada. Make sure we got the uh, latest update here on the map. See if we got anything going on here. Not a whole lot of new stuff. That's going to be in the purple circle up here around St. John's, it looks like. Well, well outside of uh, St. John's little 2.6. That's not even really that big of an earthquake up there. Uh, and looking at the data, there's not a whole lot of new movement across the board. Some activity around the uh, plate boundary of the Cascadia, or the subduction zone up here. That was, uh, when was that? A few days ago. Looks like they had a 4.1 up there, but uh, things kind of mellow across this area of Canada. Alrighty, let's see what else do we have here, guys. Um, check out the uh, Mount Lassen area real quick. Keep forgetting to check on it because we did see some activity there a couple days ago. I'd like to check these seismographs and see what we got. Looks like one earthquake right here. Um, yesterday afternoon time frame. Not a whole lot going on aside from that, though mellow there across the uh, Mount Lassen area. Alrighty guys, I'm going to bounce out of here and uh, enjoy the rest of the Friday. It's supposed to be, oh man, I think uh, I think you guys out in the uh, the Plains area, Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas area, getting some cooler temperatures. Well, we, we got the uh, heat dome building back up over the west coast. Uh, it's supposed to be 90 degrees today here in California after having some rain and some cooler weather over the past uh, past week. Returning to summer-like temperatures here. Tomorrow's supposed to be uh, like 95, uh, Sunday 96, so it's eh. I'm not a big fan of the heat, but it's a lot better than 115 degrees like we had um, earlier in this month that was just a scorcher i'm not i'm definitely not a big fan of that all right guys have a good night or a good day again keep an eye keep a close eye on the solomon islands area definitely in that uh that little zone of uh, uncertainty the quiet zone so to speak seismic gap is a more professional word for it all right take care Enjoy your afternoon. We'll catch you guys later tonight with the complete update. Peace out.